Cody. Okay, Liz. Left hand on your weight belt, right hand on your regulator and your mask. Big step straight in. That's it. Yeah, the idea of the of the, the scuba trip, I suppose, is to to get you away from everyday places, and um, yeah, it's quite cool. I've been in Tanzil for 11 years, and it's the first time I've been to these islands. Yeah, it's definitely different. Real friendly, helpful staff. It's nothing's a problem. Um, look after you really well on the trip here. Uh, Interaction with um, the other other students, people doing the dive, um, the food. Yeah, it's the best place to go. We've actually got a friend that's come out to do her open water training today. She's loved it. Um, my sister came out on the open water with Rad and her husband. So yeah, without a doubt, it's the most awesome trips. The crew is pretty flexible. If you want to go off on your own with just your buddy as a fun diver, they'll let you do that. But they'll also give you tours. Rad takes care of you, makes sure everyone's on the same level, and then gives you the flexibility to dive to your comfort level. This is my first trip with the uh, remote area diving there. Very personal. Well, you know, I've, had, I've had contact with them in the last six months buying equipment and everything. But rad, <laughs> rad, just literally. Pretty the much. name speaks for itself. It does. It is. Yes. Remote area dive is very good value. Very personalised, down down to earth. They really are. We're more focused on customers coming back than walking in, kick out the door, and never see you again. Yeah, high turnovers. Did certify through them. So did the open water. Um, and then went on to the advanced, had to do the advanced, go out to Yonyala and places like that. Gorgeous dives. But, um, and then tried the rescue diver with them as well. So, yeah, it's all great. Yeah, so actually going back down the road that we came up, on the road. I find that uh, the, the instructors are very patient. They're really good at uh, minimizing the uh, any fears you might have, they uh, yeah. eliminate any kind of misconceptions you might have had and that sort of thing. It's a balance of skills plus actually seeing stuff. So it, it makes it uh, exciting the time goes fast. You're not just doing drills and, and skills the whole time. You're, you're working the skills in as you go. And it's just, it's, it's a safe environment. They're maintaining uh, high levels of safety by keeping you with your, teaching you good form, keeping with your buddy and uh, All right, so basically weekend safari, pretty much every weekend, that's our signature um, dish. It's quite simple. But most products out of Townsville and, you know, Cairns or Ely Beach or anywhere like that, basically what happens, they usually entail a fairly lengthy boat ride. All right, well, our remote areas, but dives a little bit different. Basically what we do is we jump in the fish bus. It's a bus basically that's uh, covered in fish, hence the name of the fish bus. All right, the fish bus drives up north to a place called Lucinda. We've actually got our own boat up there called the Coral Gypsy, all right. Coral Gypsy is the fastest dive boat in Townsville. Just got some new motors on her the other day, and uh, yeah, she can, you know, she goes like a rocket. Launching from um, uh, Lucinda takes approximately half an hour to actually get to Polaris Island. The best thing about that, no one gets sick in half an hour. Once you get into the, uh, the lee of the island, it's nice and glass, and it's very, very biodiverse over there. When we first started remote area dive, we wanted to have a product that was small and personalised, okay? I take great pride in trying to actually remember everyone's name, all right? You can't get that in some of the big businesses, all right? We don't want to grow into like a business that's churning out open water divers uh, you know, and lose that impersonal nature. We want our guys to keep coming back to us, to keep diving with us. We've got a very active dive club. And you know, they keep coming back because basically well, what they want to do is they want to have fun. I guess that's what diving's all about, having fun. Straight out of the island, have a quick dive brief and orientation in the region. 
and then straight into the diving. Bang, two dives straight up before lunch. Um, both weekends, even though I've been to the same site a couple of times, there's always something different. There's always different species collected. There's always different conditions such as current and drift. After lunch, all right, basically what we do, we sit around, relax in the hammock, take it easy, put our feet up, have a snooze and siesta under the tree, all right, whilst the uh, compressor's filling up the tanks, and then it's into an afternoon dive. For some people, that's enough for the day. For others, they just can't get enough and then hanging out for that night dive at AJ's Rocks. That's where it comes alive. After AJ's Rocks, sit around the fire, just take it easy, relax, tell the stories of the day, unwind, and you know, pretty much by 8.30, 9 o'clock, you're looking for the armor swag, and the swag's pretty comfortable. We are just chatting around the campfire, it was fantastic. Yeah, everyone's a bit tired, but um, just talking with the experiences, what you saw, and the shark one was a good one, so we brought that up. Um, um, just chatting about general things in life, it was fantastic, nice and relaxed. Wake up the next day, hot cooked breakfast, all right? Good old uh, you know, English style breakfast, bacon and eggs, and then it's just into it again, straight into the diving. Two dives, all right? And then we basically go, go back to the mainland and have a barbecue. And unfortunately, the weekend's got to end sometime, and it's back to work on the Monday. The expectations definitely been on this trip, yeah, just can't wait to do the next one. Definitely, as soon as they put the next one on, I'll be, I'll be there.